hold the mic to you to keep, keep your hands no, free. No, 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 Will you be alright, yeah? Uh -huh. Right, just wait now, I'm going to grab a board and stand beside you. Okay. Would somebody like to come in and stand beside the Eklund while he's bringing the letter? Would you like to play with that board? Make sure you have a good shot. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you get all the. Off, get, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello, uh, my name's Declan Flynn. Um, I've travelled up from Dublin today to do this for Barry. Um, he asked me. He actually asked me yesterday to uh, if I would mind reading this letter out, like you know. And I think as anyone that knows me, like you know, and, and few of you do here, I generally blend into the background. I don't want to be on on camera i don't want to be seen like you know i'd rather do the work in the background so it's a bit out of my comfort zone i told barry that like you know but he said like you know look i'll send this on to you and if you want to do if you don't that's fine it's no problem and then i thought about it, like you know i said the problem with people nowadays is that they won't go out of their comfort zone it's that simple you know and the and the problem with that is like you know that by not going out of your comfort zone you don't do anything and unfortunately, that's what's happened a lot of times. Like, you know, people don't do anything. And, you know, this is a small, a small little thing that we do, but it's so important, it's so informative, and we are only bringing the truth to people. If people don't want to understand that, that's fine. You know, we're not forcing them to do that. We're just asking you to wake up, wake up your own little mind and actually check it out and see what we're saying is true or not. And if you don't believe it, that's fine as well. So, just thanks for that, like, you know, and I'm just going to read out the letter that, that Barry asked me to go. Okay, to whom it may concern, we have come here today as deeply concerned men and women of ERA to make a public plea to the owners, management and staff of LMFM radio station to report the following facts. Since the rollout of the COVID-19 injection in 2021, there has been a horrific increase in excess deaths in every village, in every town, and in every county of area. Such alarmingly high numbers of extra deaths and injuries are occurring in all countries where a significant percentage of the population has been injected with the COVID-19 experimental pharmaceutical product. Excess, excess death statistics are a measurement of the difference between the actual all-cause mortality and the expected mortality under normal conditions. This is the gold standard for evaluating the health of a nation. A number of different calculation methods can be used and the statistics we present to you here today were determined using the five year rolling average method. And as you can see here, we have the table and this is processed from, uh, it's analyzed from RIP, which is recognized by the General Re Registers Office and the Central Statistics Office for a real time measure of mortality in Ireland. So the numbers in this chart uh, that I've just shown you there total to more than 20,000 post-COVID-19 injection excess deaths in our country. We are pointing out to you that there is a large amount of validated information free, freely available and in the public domain, which includes manufacturing safety data from the producers of the COVID-19 injections, highlighting that they actually knew these injections were never safe. All relevant regulatory bodies now admit that the C-19 injections have already caused millions of deaths, as well as maiming hundreds of millions of people worldwide. There are also data-backed studies proving the correlation between the COVID-19 injections and the rise in post-injection excess deaths currently happening in heavily injected countries. We have provided you with several links that prove these statements. People rely on mainstream media for news and valuable information and media companies depend on the implicit trust that the public place in them. Local radio stations enjoy an elevated level of public trust because of their close and interdependent relationship with the people and organizations of their area. In area, local radio stations also function so as to preserve local character and independence in an increasingly globalist society. There is an unstated belief that the station will act faithfully in the best interests of the local people. The COVID-19 injection rollout caused obvious and significant carnage in Drogheda and all over the island of Aera. All media, LMFM radio station included, are completely betraying public trust by continuing to refuse to report on the COVID-19 injection injuries and deaths. This willful neglect of journalistic duty continues to contribute to the massive public lie 
that these injections were safe and effective. Large numbers of trusting and unsuspecting individuals are continuing to take these injections and boosters, and some of these people will die or suffer life-altering health complications. Tens of thousands of people are now coming to accept that the media are lying at a time when they could be saving lives by faithfully reporting on the now known risks attached to the COVID-19 injection. This is so huge and so evil that many people still cannot get their heads around how so many media professionals could collude to censor such key facts and information in this era. Irish media has exposed itself as very stupid and very ugly. There is a glaringly hollow tone to those so-called controversial radio shows where people phone in and passionately discuss difficult subjects with presenters that posture as earnest and concerned individuals. It is now blatantly obvious that these same presenters have no intention of lending a sympathetic ear to the tens of thousands of people who have been bereaved or injured by the COVID-19 injection in areas since 2021. And I think what Adele said earlier on, like, you know, about ringing into this station, it proves that LMFM certainly weren't listening anyway. We see you. There are no excuses or hiding places now. Even the media companies or individuals should come forward tomorrow and apologise for having censored the vital information of our times. It would be obvious that they are only doing so because they now recognise that the tide of public opinion is turning in error. And not because they feel morally obligated to confess for their role in this most heinous of crimes. The whole thing is a sham, a cowardly and evil endorsing game played by people who are abusing the trust of their public. And shame on you all including LMFM here behind me today. Notwithstanding this fact, the volunteers at Wake Up, Wake Up Area, all you good people out here today, are inviting you to start reporting the truth and to interview some of our injured or bereaved volunteers. They are eager to tell their stories and share information about the challenges they now face in convincing the medical and the media industries to recognise the pain and suffering of their lived experiences. So please acknowledge that because Irish media refuse to do their job correctly, a vast number of concerned and discerning individuals are rising up from the ground to begin a grassroots media service that strives to faithfully present facts. Unlike the salaried media employees, these citizen journalists are mostly unpaid, often vilified and slurred by legacy mainstream and local media. Legacy and local media companies are displaying unqualified arrogance and disdain for both COVID-19 injection facts and anyone who is courageous enough to speak these truths. Your behaviour was and still is deplorable and renders you complicit in these enormous crimes. But the truth has an eloquence all of its own and a uniquely human eloquence is starting to assert its rightful place in our public commentary spaces. As legacy institutions come under scrutiny for their complicity in the qu quota genocide of the Irish people, there will be a shift in the collective consciousness towards the ideals of a society that prioritizes human dignity and integrity. We will look back in embarrassment at contemporary media styles, at the incessant hollow type, hype, sorry, and frenzied denial of important and unavoidable facts that have shaped our realities these last few years. This is a sad time in the history of era and the Irish, Irish media played a huge role in bringing about this awful state of affairs. To each and every one working in mainstream media companies, including LMFM, you have played your part in the big lie and almost 20,000 excess deaths are the consequences. Please sit with this reality and carefully consider your future actions. The people of the era are now paying attention. We leave you with this one chilling fact mainstream Irish media are still promoting and encouraging the public to take more COVID-19 boosters. This is a great evil. We see you and we will never forget. Signed on behalf of all you great volunteers here in Wake Up Area. Thank you.